I hate to play the bad guy on days like this, but somebody got to do it. Somebody got to wake our citizens up. Truthfully, we all got a part to play. So me playing a bad guy today is just playing my part. African indigenous people, Latin indigenous people, today is not your holiday in America. Today is Independence Day. And what we mean by independence, we talk about the original 13 colonies separating themselves from Britain, British ties. We don't talk about right after your independence, the sun up the next day, you got to feel the melanated beans picking cotton. So why would African people celebrate a nation that right after their independence, had you slaving black and brown people this is not your holiday most of these holidays are not your holiday Thanksgiving is not your holiday and this is what people essentially my melanated beings we've accepted the customs of a land or the customs of people who've taken the land in which they brought us and enslaved us in that land. We've accepted these customs. We're going to be out here barbecuing. We're going to be out here lighting fireworks. We're going to be out here, dare I say, wearing red, white, and blue. Rapping. I'm an American. I'm an American. Two weeks ago was Juneteenth. Where were your Americans then? How many of your Americans even know what Juneteenth is? We talk about the actual ending of enslavement as far as on a physical level. The Emancipation Proclamation happens and some states ain't even notified. Niggas in the South are still enslaving niggas. And then still, you're not completely emancipated. We know about the black codes. We know about the um, inner city to prison pipeline. We know about the disproportionate incrimination that goes on so I just ask you as melanated black and brown people why do you celebrate customs of those who held you captive why if it's just because oh it's my tradition that's what I grew up on that's what I grew up that's what I've always known we've always celebrated 4th of July yeah I get it the get together is vibrant it's a cool day you know what I'm saying you get to see family everybody got time off I get it but dare I say you need to be informed about what you're celebrating? Is that even something that you guys consider? Maybe I need to ask myself why I celebrate Christian, uh, Christmas. Niggas ain't even Christian. There's <laughs> a lot of niggas that ain't Christian celebrating Christmas just because they grew up doing it. A lot of niggas celebrating Thanksgiving just because they grew up doing it. Don't know the origin. Don't know it came behind murder. Actually, you talk about these migrant children in concentration camps and their ancestors. They have more stake to this land than the niggas celebrating Independence Day. They have more stake to this land than the niggas holding them in them concentration camps. This is not our nation. This is nobody's nation, to be honest with you. So Independence Day is really just filler. Independence Day is saying, okay us two British and quote unquote American people which are still the the 13 colonies are European people so Europeans fighting against Europeans that's what you have going on they're not inquiring African people as far as independence after you win Independence Day after you win after you gain independence they they didn't you was hard labor Hard labor the day after, hard labor the week after, hard labor the year after. Your property, three-fifths, less than human. So today you can celebrate, man. Celebrate. Do it with a smile. Be happy. I want you to vibe. I really do want you to vibe. Don't get it twisted. I want you to vibe every day. Uh, you sh your vibe shouldn't be contingent on a holiday or a day off, per se. You should always find a way to keep your vibe at a high frequency. So I always want you to vibe. 
But you also should be informed about what you're celebrating. Black people, you are of no nation. It's sorry to say. Think about it. You, they call you black people. What's the nation to black? What nation does black subscribe to? Where can we <clears throat> make legislation as black people? Where can we impose our culture as black people? I got locks in America. It's harder to get a job, statistically. <laughs> you got an Afrocentric name, it's harder to get a job, statistically. We make no laws. We make no cultural norms, though we're so divine that they perpetuate our culture and appropriate that shit. So our culture is here. Let's get it straight. But as far as the cultural norms, they control, they dictate that shit. We just put our vibrant swag. We have our vibrant swag in America, so it's contagious. But let's not get it twisted. We don't run shit here. Economically, we don't have capital. We're still economically <clears throat> disadvantaged, as disadvantaged as we were in 1865, 1880. The 1900s, we had some type of economic advantage. Black Wall Street, you fucked that up. This is not your holiday, black folks, and that's all I came to say. Seven minutes. If you think it is your holiday, go celebrate. Eat your, eat your pork. Eat your beef. Eat things non-native to the African diet. Because, shit, you accepted everything else. You accepted their holidays. You accepted their schools. You accepted their diets. I talk to niggas now. Oh, I can't go without eating meat. I can't go without eating bacon. I need me some meat. Your ancestors didn't need meat like that. Why you need it? Oh, I always grew up eating me. Who put you on that? Who put you on that diet? Oh, I always grew up Christian. Who put you on Christianity? Oh, I always celebrated Thanksgiving. Who put you on Thanksgiving? What's Thanksgiving about? What's Christmas about? What's Halloween about? You blindly just celebrating shit? Eurocentric shit? As an Afrocentric being? Come on, man. What's your boy, Dane, man? Holla at me.